logical. And then they what? And then they're together again. Whatever. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told Garrett. You. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Not anymore, he's not. Was, I suppose. Uh -huh, he yeah. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Okay. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. I can handle I can this. Handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. Okay. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards so and dead men. don't anger him, but make a firm that I'm right. <laughs> Fuck knows. This is going to be funny. He's fat. That's what I'd say straight away. Just you're fat. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences yep. for your father and brother. Of course you are. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Oh. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Oh, he's a dickhead. I've been waiting for this day all my life. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oath breakers. Aye. Oh, this is funny. He's standing up to a kid. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. Um. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Oh. You little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. I'm a lord as well. Have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. Hmm. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Oh, okay. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. That's Maybe enough. If you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, Things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? No, oh, what's he gonna do? Is that him? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Um. Hear that? No, it wasn't. Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? Um, they attacked first. How dare you answer and for you your man? Um, Lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Mm-hmm. Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A, house a good one. Of honorable men. Go on, Lord Forrester. Lady hey, Forrester. Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? He's fat. Leave him out. I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering your losses and all. But you said you'd like to drive this, the dagger into his heart himself. This is not over. It's over when my son is. Ah, it's finished. over. This is over. Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. Huh. If that displeases it's you, over, buddy. Then I trust you can find the door. Get the fuck out of here. House. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. 
Then we'll mm -hmm. see whose word is law. You're a craven, do as you like. We're in the right. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. Oh yeah, he will. Dot dot dot. Dun dun dun. Oh god, he's a dickhead. I wish I stabbed him. Oh, I could have stabbed him right there and then. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his oh, yeah. while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rapid, Oh, he's proud of me. Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend. Ramsay Snow. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Okay. Don't know who that is, but go for it. Go for it, Sonny. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie. Mira Tyrell's Forrester, favor. Red and Keep, Marjorie's King's Landing. To the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Oh, my hair now. Woo! Iron wood box. What in the box? What in the box? What's that? Ethan made this for me. Kill. Kill the kill you. Coins. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. Is this just remember remember? Friggin' hell. To remember by read to remember people stuff by. Can I read it, please? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Thank you. Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. Oh, if I don't say myself. I wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Right, mate. Right, let's get out of here. I don't know what I'm waiting for. The raven, that's what I'm waiting for, aren't I? They're sending me a raven. Dead be a book. Dusty old tome. Doubt anything's gonna. I'm gonna look out the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. No. It's dreadful. Don't go there. Don't go there, you silly bitch. Letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you oh. must appeal to Lady well, Marjorie there. to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hmm. So I need to go ask someone from here to help us against that White Hill. White Hill? White... I think it's White Hill. Hello. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. You did. You knocked on the I fucking door. Like. Let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Bit dirty. What's he doing? Don't steal anything, you little shit. Begging your pardon, my lady, but. Are you alright? If you don't mind my asking, I'm you seem fine. Upset. 
I'm fine. Thank you. Of course, my lady. You little shit. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. So loyal. You can be a bit faster. You work for Lady Marjorie? Don't ask questions. I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. Um I'm her handmaiden. That's what I sneezed. Thought. I've seen you with her before. <laughs> you seem like good friends. Shut up, you little shit. I'll chuck you out the window. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Cersei. 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 They appear Cersei. to be having some sort of disagreement. You were eavesdropping? Eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and House Forrester? Yes. House Forrester. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. House Most Forrester is tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. You're just a call, boy. Good night, my lady. Good night, it's friggin' daylight. You little shit. Hello. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. There's always time for Come. us to talk. There's something we must discuss. Okay. If it's something to do with, it's going to be House Forester, isn't it? From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. Okay. I feel your pain as if it were my own. I bet you don't. What you said. Um, my mother wrote me. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. Is she the one that needs? We're asking for help we will from. Through this together. You must understand there are I limits think. to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing. Now that I am to be queen. Yeah, it How is. If she's the queen, we have to ask her. Family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered. They don't look nice. They her. don't look right. Okay, they're fine. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. <gasps> the little shitbag. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. Okay. So who is she? She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. What? I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. Um, I cannot afford what would I say? any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. I'll just apologize. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Are you ready to see us? Hello. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. She's ready. Good luck. Oh, we're going in. So we have to make a laugh or humor her. And tell her what she wants to hear. Even though we want to tell her the truth, but we shouldn't. He's tiny! He can be real. No, it is actually, he's actually tiny. You can do this. Oh, yes I can. Do the dreaded walk. What's his name? There's a lot of people. She wants an apology. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission. Isn't that the famous actual the Game Lady of Thrones? Of House Forrester. I don't know. Uh, bow your head. I am honoured, Your Grace. Hmm. 
Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. Oh, for God's sake. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. They don't kneel. I beg your yes. pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Of course. Perhaps you should ask yes. the new Lord Forrester. Um he's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. I see. And yet. And yet For centuries the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. No, they House haven't. Of traitors. Uh I agree, your yes, grace. Your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Clearly her what? loyalty wavers quite a lot. If she has any loyalty at all. I thought that's what she wanted to hear. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Um Roose Bolton also served the Starks. Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are With my house. Choose my house. We will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happen to oh. serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Oh, of course you can. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather... Yes, Your Grace. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> You, you can rely on it. To see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate. She's really weird. I won't dishonor place. myself. There's a limit, Your Grace. Yes, anything. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I, I think see. she wants to hear that. <laughs> what would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? No. Should she be held accountable? Yes. Um. I'm sure she regrets she it. She's just following her heart. Your grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. I thought the, this city alone is the woman next to me said do anything, say what she wants to hear. I thought she, I don't know. I don't know. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. Mm -hmm. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. Yes. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? The king. I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. Yep. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? Mm -hmm. The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. No, for God's sake. Of course, Your Grace. They're all chitter chatter in the background. Awkward silence. I'll walk you out. Oh, thank you. Great. Woo. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Okay. Even then, he didn't trust Ruth Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences. No, oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Martin mm -hmm. was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first um. impression. 
I, of course, found it all highly oh. entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. She better My do. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides. Who's the master of coin? The crown needs votes. Votes need um, votes what are you suggesting? The crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. Oh and well. Would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Hmm. Are you willing to risk that? Um. It may be far too dangerous. Yes. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'm actually a boy. I'll consider it. So. Now, if you'll excuse me, yes. I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine. Um, thanks for your advice. Good night. The mere thought Good night. Makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. Okay. The can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Okay, whatever you say, Lord Tyrion.